What's going on guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Shantae Murray here and I am a lifestyle vlogger here on the tube. I strive to make content that can help you guys out in some way, shape, or form. So if you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out the YouTube algorithm and just helps people find your girl's channel. So my dog just laid down. It's probably what you're hearing right now. We had to hurry up and record this video because I am so close to giving birth it's not even funny and I've had this stuff laying out on my kitchen table for forever just casually collecting for months now and I knew I was going to record this but I don't even know the last time I've worn makeup because if you guys can't tell my makeup and my neck don't match because I started to get like the mask of pregnancy um that's a whole nother video so I'm going to go ahead and jump on into this and if you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure you leave a comment in the comments below letting your girl know that. I am going to film a separate video with just the baby's items. Um, so yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys would would pack in your hospital bag or if there's things that you feel like I need to have or things that you feel like you did better off not taking just let me know I'm up for I'm up for any opinion all opinions on that subject are great all right so the first thing that I'm taking is shower shoes these I wasn't going to wear but I've had to wear them a couple of times already these are from Target. I do have another pair of shoes that I'm going to be taking. Now, I don't know if I will be wearing these or wearing the flip-flops to the hospital. Um, I will be wearing one of the two so that they're not taking up room in my bag. Um, if It just depends on what the weather is doing because like it's been so warm outside and now they're saying it's about to be snowing. So these are actually moisture wicking slippers. I wear slippers all the time. I wear them around my house and the biggest thing I cannot stand is that if I do any sort of physical activity I'm kind of, I get really sweaty. I did have to buy these in a size extra large because my swelling is out of control but these are like they're so soft. I got these from Kohl's actually for $24. The other thing that I'm taking, I actually picked this up from Kohl's as well. When my mom bought these for me for Valentine's Day because I really wanted them, is this pair of pants. They're the Sonoma brand. They were $30, but they're like really soft, and I just wanted black in case there's any sort of situations with 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 leaking. I don't want any sort of surprise issues. Um, these are probably going to be the pants that I wear home uh yeah so i i just felt like i needed a new pair of black sweatpants and then to go with that she also bought me this sonoma brand how much was this 36 dollars um it's actually like a t-shirt a dress like shirt situation what is like a nightgown I don't know, but I love stuff like this. I love sleeping and stuff like this. And honestly, I want to wear it like right now. Um, but I've been trying to hold off so that it just has like a special level of comfort for when I'm at the hospital. I just want to be as comfy as possible. And this isn't a size extra large. So I can wear it with those pants or I can wear it on its own. I bought it big enough to cover the bump and big enough that if I just wanted to wear this on, on its own, I could. We're just gonna go through all of the clothes that I'm taking. So I'm taking this pair of shorts. These are old. I've had these for a long time. They're from Target. They're that brand, the stars above. If you guys have not tried any clothes <laughs> from that brand, I recommend you try them. They're extremely soft, but I will say that they all peel in the shower. In the in the shower, they all peel when you wash them. Um, and I think it's just the fabric that it's made out of because they're so soft. But uh, I wanted a pair of black shorts in case I'm like hot and sweaty. And then I also am taking just this pink. It's just a regular pink 
razor back, but they're in the maternity section. They're the brand Isabel Maternity. They're super cheap. They're only like $9 from Target as well. I've had them for forever. I have these in pink as well, but um, they're some of my favorite pajamas. And honestly, I'm taking these more for like pictures and just if I need comfort clothes around the hospital. I also would be totally comfortable wearing these home if I absolutely had to. Like I said, I don't know what like the aftercare situation for giving birth is going to be. So I would rather have more clothes than not enough. Um, but it does come with like I, this is a robe. I literally couldn't find robes that I actually liked that didn't cost like an arm and a leg. And I I keep, I have robes at home. I wear robes all the time. I wear loungewear all the time. So I would rather take stuff that I already have that I know is comfortable um, with me. But I'm always going to match it with that pink, the pink tank top because I would like um, to take some pictures with my baby. So this is another well the last item that I bought that I am going to wear at the hospital I honestly was on the fence about buying this because they are $30 um, on Amazon but it is a gown from Gownies and these are like maternity gowns that you can buy that are super freaking cute they're so cute and the fabric is thick and super soft because they're 100% cotton um, they have snaps if you're breastfeeding in the front and they have snaps all the way down the back so that you don't have to wear the grody hospital gowns. Um, I don't know why, just like the thought of having a baby and it being like this is my first child and the thought of like wearing a gown that like, I mean, people go to the hospital and they have major situations happen in those same exact gowns. So, um... I didn't want to take pictures with my newborn baby in the grody hospital gown so I'm taking this because it's cute and I want to and I don't care if my if I overpack I guess so besides that I'm also taking my own towel as far as showering goes I bought this miniature loofah because I'm just gonna throw it away when I get done using it and my shower situation is the miniature travel si travel size shower stuff from Bath and Body Works. I'm using um, Rose Shower Gel. I have the Rose Lotion and I have the Rose Body Mist. And I have these on deck because I travel so much for the military. So I didn't like go out and purchase these items um, just for the hospital. I just already had them. I feel like there's no reason to be going out and buying a ton of stuff. Like if you can get away with using what you already have, then use it. Um, Cause you're about to have a baby and that baby is going to cost money. So I am not washing my hair at all while I'm there. So I'm taking my Dove um, dry shampoo. I'm taking my toothbrush. I have like a one of those really expensive like Phillips toothbrush things, and a lot of people recommend that you just take a throwaway toothbrush. But my toothbrush comes with this travel case, so I'm really not concerned about like leaving it anywhere or whatever. My I care about dental hygiene so much. I'm not gonna leave my toothbrush at the hospital. Um, yeah, so I'm taking that travel case. And then I just have this little tiny travel pack of Oral-B Glide um, flosser, flosser sticks. And then my Crest 3D White travel size toothpaste. I'm also taking my travel size Q-tips and my gla reading glasses. Things that are like hygiene items, I guess, is I bought, well, I bought this Aquaphor chapstick. I'm about to put some of it on but I wanted a chapstick just for the hospital um because I always wear chapstick and I didn't want to lose like my expensive one that I get from my dermatologist office so I bought that one it's just the aqua for it's like three dollars when you check out at Walmart it's just like in the little checkout aisle um and then I also bought equate flushable cleansing claws and these are a pH balanced dermatologist and gynecologist tested it says you can also flush them but i probably wouldn't do that but i'm taking these just in case but these are kind of on like the postpartum side um of the house i'm not taking very many of my postpartum items 
with me. Honestly, most of these things that I'm about to show you are postpartum, but I'm going to make a separate video with like the postpartum stuff that I bought and felt like I needed. Um, I got these two things, like little package tester things that had breast pads in them um, so that if you're leaking, you can wear those because uh, I wasn't about to go buy any when I got those for free. So I'm going to use those and then I think I have a solution made up of what I'm going to do when I get home and like I don't have any more of those because I'm really not trying to spend the money on that. I know I'm probably, I probably sound so cheap right now, but I'm like, why? I'll decide what I want to do at a later time. So I also bought the Freedom Mom Perry Bottle. Um, the bag's really cute. It says, trust us, your vagina will thank you. Freedom Mom. Um, and then the last thing is, I don't think I'm going to take this whole pack because it will fill up most of my bag. I think I'm only going to take like three or four of these, but these are adult diapers. Um, they're the always discreet boutique ones. I don't care about them being cute. I don't, I just want them to work. And I've heard that the hospital ones like make you itch from having been sitting for a really long time. So, I don't know. I figured they were worth a try. I'll take a couple with with me to the hospital. Speaking of sitting down for a long time, I have been already using this and I purchased this um, honestly too late in the game. This is a hemorrhoid pillow. Um, I'm struggling so bad from hemorrhoids and I actually bought this just to help take the pressure off of the whole perennial area, but um, it doubles as a hemorrhoid pad, so like, I love this thing. It was the best investment ever. I am not an Amazon like affiliate or whatever, but I will have this in the bottom with everything else. I'm going to stand up and use it right now because I probably need to be using it. Um, but yeah, I use that every single day at work. And what, even when I'm at home, I will continue to use this like well into the future. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to make a video and let you guys know in my postpartum video like how this worked out and if it helped me recover faster because y'all the hemorrhoids are it's out of control. The game, the game, it's, it's got me messed up. Um, I'm also going to take my vitamins with me that I was taking prior to getting pregnant because I really want to start those going immediately. And I'm going to take, um, this stool softener, Colace, um, just in case, because I have heard many stories about some doc sometimes they give them to you sometimes they don't we're not i'm not playing games with this hemorrhoid situation so i would rather be safe than sorry and have them okay the last two items that i'm taking one is this fan this fan my mom actually got one for christmas it like folds out like this and then there's a clip on it if you want to hook it onto anything or you can like bend it down and do it like that Whatever. This is like game changer. There's three settings on it. Um, you can't hurt yourself with the fan, but it is rechargeable. And um, these are like $14, $12, $14 on Amazon. They're a freaking game changer. My mom uses them all the time for like hot flashes and stuff. And I've heard so much stuff about like how after you give birth, you're like sweating all the time. And I don't know. I just figured if I need a fan, like, I could see this being a moment when I'm like, God, I wish I would have bought that fan. So, I bought it. It's going to be used after I give birth. I didn't feel bad about spending the money on it because I'm going to need it for work anyways. So, your girl's taking a fan. I'm also going to make sure that I have it completely charged before I leave. And speaking of charging, I went and bought this 10-foot extension cord um, because... They have plugins all over the hospital room, but most people have told me that the plugin is like behind the bed and my iPhone charger is very short. So I would just rather play it safe than sorry and have this like easily accessible to my bed. The last thing that I'm going to show you guys is actually, I was going to put this in the baby stuff, but I'll probably put it in both. Um, but I am taking the Boppy lounger that I got. I got mine on clearance 
for $19 from Target. Um, but I'm going to take this because the hospital recovery room is like so tiny and we're getting ready to go into basketball season, like hardcore basketball season. And I just know like some of my friends and family are going to be like, we're going to come watch like the game with you, whatever. Like that's just, that's me as a person. I, I want to be surrounded by the people that love us. And, um, when I saw how small that room is, I was like, oh, I'm taking my lounger because I'm going, I want the baby to be able to like be in my bed. And, um, also I just recently started getting, um, carpal tunnel from pregnancy. So like my hands are killing me right now. Um, and I just don't know if that's something that'll be immediately gone after I have her because I've heard that it doesn't go away real quick, um, but it's due to swelling. So um, I don't know what it's going to be like holding her all the time or anything or like just how I'm going to feel. So I would rather have my boppy if I need it. It obviously isn't going to fit in my bag. So it'll be like someone will have to run out to my car and get it. But yeah, those are that's everything that I'm taking. I am, I do have this suitcase that I'm like considering taking, but at the same time I have like an army duffel bag. Um, I think that the roller might be a better situation just for me, but if I have like a lot of assistance getting in and out of the hospital, it'll be okay. Um, but yeah, I figured I would film this video and just let you guys know everything I'm taking. There are some things that I didn't show you, like my makeup bag, um, all of the hygiene products that I use on a regular basis, like my face wash, my um, moisturizer, stuff like that. I am going to be taking all of that with me because like I said, I'm the type of person I would rather have that stuff than be like, man, I wish I would have brought my makeup for pictures. Um, I'll make that decision when I get there and like... I'm just really not concerned about who's judging me for what I bring to the hospital. But like I said, leave me a comment in the comments below if there's things that you feel like I'm missing or like things that you feel like you had that were like a definite necessity. Um, I, I like I like reading through stuff like that. So that is going to conclude this video. I thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Feel uninvited, left home in West LA.